Hi, this is Sherry Hayes with MomDelights.com. I'm the homeschool mom of 15. I've been doing it for 30 years, um, and I hope that you like today's video on how to make a clear book cover from a sheet protector. So, we use the McGuffey readers, and these are smaller books, but um, they're not consumables. In other words, I want to be able to pass these down to my own kids and maybe even to grandkids someday. So I really feel strongly about preserving them as much as I can. They're pretty sturdy. The ones from Mott Midi are pretty sturdy and also the others are, are kind of sturdy too, but I think they need a little help. So I um, wanted to cover them with something that um, where they could still see the charm and enjoy the outside of the book, but it would protect them. So the Lord kind of put on my heart to use a clear protector sheet. Just like this one. I don't suggest that you use the thinnest protector sheet. I um, have a habit of buying protector sheets from Sam's Club. This is a box of 200 and I think it's like medium. Oh, these are heavy duty. These are heavy duty. You can see here. If you cut this edge off, and you cut this edge off, then you actually have something that opens up. Let me show you what I mean. So if I took this pair of scissors and cut this side, this is actually the side that has, I don't know if you can see that, it's like where it was um, melted closed, that's the word for it. And I'm going to take this, this part off right here. See this part? I'm going to cut that too. You want, kind of want to make it neat, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Because this is going to be folded to the inside anyway. So what I have when I've done that is I have this. You can see it's open. So then what I want to do is I want to place my book on top of it. I'm going to be using this book because it's the protector on it um, is kind of old and um, sometimes the kids, they even draw on the protector sheet. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to use this book. This is the um, pictorial, the eclectic pictorial primer. As you can see, it's like got a matte finish and there are potentials of all kinds of places for it to break down. I actually had one of a set of these uh, a number of years ago, and it did. It just completely disintegrated. So what I do is, I'll, I don't know if you can see on here, but here's this protector sheet. And I'm laying it like this, and I'm going to lay this book with the center fold of the protector sheet on the, on the center of the spine. Now I'm going to fold it over. And as you can see, I have over, overlapping here. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to fold, I'm going to kind of put this in the center, and I'm going to fold the top and the bottom so that it's even with the top and the bottom of the book. So, um, let's see how I can do this. You can actually use a pen or score it in some way to make it easier. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just to give yourself an idea. I'm going to score it with this pair of scissors. Okay, so I've got that score so I can kind of see where there's a little line here. And I'm going to fold this plastic protector sheet like this. Do you see how I'm... And I'm going to do the top the same way. Let's see if I can see that. And then I'm going to take my book and lay it back on and see that it is, it's just about exact here. So I'm going to fold this over like this. And now I'm going to do something really simple. I'm going to take and fold these in like this. Okay, on the top, I don't know if you saw that. I'm folding this over like this and I'm gonna do that on the other side. And so now, as you can see, it's sort of covered, but it's not secure. I have to secure it. So you can see how neatly that looks. It really looks very polished, and it really doesn't hardly take anything to do that. So what I want to do now 
is I'm going to take, now this is the, probably the most difficult part, I'm going to take, and if you will see, when I fold this over, there's kind of a little uh, insertion place here on either side. So I'm going to put the actual book cover into that little flap that I've created, like this. All right, so now I've got it inside this flap, and I have to kind of work with it just a little bit. But you can see it's inside the flap. Can you see that? So you don't really see a lot of the overlap except right there. Now, one thing you can do, you could, I don't know, there might be another way to engineer it, but this is kind of how I do it. It's quick. And so I'm going to pull that down. Now, to secure it in place and make sure it stays, I am going to use some clear tape. Now, I like the fatter stuff, but today this is what I have. <laughs> so that's what I'm using. Um, later on, I can put some fat stuff on it. But I'm going to make sure this is folded properly. Make sure it's nice and uh, on this side. I don't have to do it tight yet. I'm just securing this side. So I'll just put a little piece of tape. I don't want to. I don't want to touch the inside of the paper of the book because that'll tear it. But I'm just going to go like this here, and I'm going to do the same on this side. And then I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to pull it taut and make sure I can close it, and do the same on this side. So then it, you'll have a really good product when you are done. It should look really, really nifty. So I hope this helps you. Bye-bye.